who is greater john the baptist according to the words of jesus hallelujah he came and said jesus is lord we don't deny let jesus be lord Good. hallelujah for your information open the bible the book of numbers 11 verse 28 even moses himself was lord is he god when aaron came to see moses and he said this is my lord moses is moses lord is moses god no now clap for moses <laughs> If you open in the book of Matthew, in the book of Genesis 24 26, Abraham was Lord. Abraham was Lord. So if Abraham is Lord, Moses is Lord, Jesus is Lord, why do you only put Jesus to be God? Why didn't you say Moses is Lord? Ah, oh, you're very unfair. <laughs> information all the prophets are lords moses is lord abraham is lord muhammad is lord jesus is lord but all of them they have one lord who is that lord that greater than them god jesus your lord do you have another lord jesus says yes i'm not lord i'm lord like moses but i am not lord that jesse takes me for from america no I am not open your Bibles the book of Mark 12 29 one of the disciples one of the scribes came to Jesus and say hey how can we enter paradise Jesus said oh listen your children of Israel your Lord our God is only one our Lord our God is only one English not you are God I only one Lord no our God our Lord is only Plus who? Which Jesus were you talking about? The son of Mary? <laughs> he came and said, he brought a verse from the book of John. John 8.57 Abraham said before Abra, be, uh, Jesus said before Abraham I was we don't deny okay I am before Abraham I am even me Ibrahim I am before Abraham Quran 7 157 secondly in the book of Exodus 3 13 Moses asked the God, what name will I tell the children of Israel? He says, God said, tell them that I am whom I am. So if that is, I am whom I am is my name. Exodus 6 verse 2, if they ask you my name, tell them Jehovah is my name, which is the right name. Who I am, I am, O Jehovah. Come and ask question, which is his name? Who I am, O Jehovah. Secondly, Jesus himself is not divine. He can never be God. He can never be son of God. Jesus is man, like me and you. He eats, he sleeps. Okay, he's divine. He's God, according to you. Why should I be very, very troubled in this world? Because the Bible says, the Bible says in the book of Psalms 121 verse 4, that God never sleeps. He never sleeps. God of Israel never sleeps. The Quran says, Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. La ta'akhudhu sinnatun wala naw. God never sleeps. But what did Jesus do? The book of 8.28, 8.23, the book of Matthew. When he was on board, then the disciples came and found Jesus completely asleep and snoring. <sighs> now, why should I be worried? I wait on the day of judgment. When he's sleeping, I get into paradise. <laughs> How can he be divine? How can he be divine? He's just like me and you. He was given birth to a woman. If you read in the book of Job 25 verse 4, no one can be God and no one can be God and no one can be light like God. 
himself. The one who has been conceived by a woman. So if he has been conceived by a woman, he cannot be divine. The Bible says, so how can you come and say that Jesus is God? Our brother, Pastor David, he came here, he brought Isaiah 9, 6. A woman has been born. A child, I mean, a child has been born. I'm sorry. A child has been born. He'll be the prince, and a prince is being the son of a king. But that verse says God. Jesus says that son is God. Again, he says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he brought his only begotten son. That, we, that is why, for God so loved the world that he brought his only begotten son. That whoever shall believe. Okay. <laughs> One side is God, the most confused people on the earth. One minute, God. Another minute, son of God. Another minute, the carpenter. Another minute, the sheep. Another minute, we are confused with him. Tell us the truth. seconds for God so loved the world that he brought his only begotten son that whoever shall believe shall have eternal life okay according to the Bible according to his friends he said that God has sent the son and that God is Jesus now this Jesus who is God which son did he send here which son thank you thank you thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, brother Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullah. Thank you, thank you so much. I would again like to invite the first speaker for 10 minutes rebuttal, brother Jesse Giggs from the United States of America. Brother, welcome. Thank you, Sheikh Ibrahim. Okay. Hopefully we can clear up misunderstanding because a lot of what is being uh, said is because of a lack of understanding of the of what we believe and what is taught in the scriptures. I told you in the beginning that you don't believe in the, the divinity of Jesus because you don't believe the scriptures and because you don't believe in the power of God. God is not a man. But there is no verse in the Bible where it says it is impossible for God at one time to come in the flesh or to send down His divine Word in the flesh. That's what you say because you don't believe the Scriptures. I quoted you John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word. He said, all of us are the Word of God. Bring a verse that says that. You read uh, Psalm 33, verse 6, which says everything is created through the Word of God. It doesn't say all of us are the Word of God. Is Adam... Jesus is like Adam in the sense that he had no earthly father. But is Adam ever called the Word of Allah? Is there any other prophet who's called the Word of Allah? No. Chapter 1, verse 2. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. The Word was God. All things were made through the Word of God, Isa. Now, I asked uh, Sheikh Ibrahim to explain to us is the Quran eternal? Is the mother of books eternal? If the mother of books is eternal, and it says in chapter 43, ayah 4 of the Quran, Allah says, this mother of books is with us. Which means there was a word, an eternal word, with Allah forever. Shirk, according to the Quran, or according to your idea, of Tawheed, except the word Tawheed is not even in the Quran.
And over and over in the Quran, Allah refers to Himself as us, we. Matthew 28. Jesus said, go and baptize them in the name of the Father. One name, one divine being, three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He proves my point. Now we are not saying there are three gods. We are saying there is one God eternally existing as three divine persons. Sheikh Ibrahim wants to reduce our knowledge of God to elementary school math. One plus one plus one, he said, equals two. I don't know which kind of math that is. We know that he meant three. One plus one plus one equals three. But even when you graduate in primary school, maybe you're in primary two or primary three, you learn about multiplication. One times one equals how much? One times one equals how much? God is more complex than your little brain. Now you think that God cannot be one God and three divine persons. Yet you say that God is omnipresent. Do you believe that God is everywhere? He said, right now we're in God. God is in me, I'm in you. God is everywhere, right? So God is right here with me on stage fully. That's His omnipresence. God is also next to Ibrahim, fully. God is also in America, fully. You explain that to me. Explain that to me. Maybe God exists in a way that you cannot comprehend with your little brain. Is it possible that God exists in a greater way than even you can understand? Yes, because you say God is omnipresent. Do you believe God is all-powerful? Then what can stop God, if He wanted to, sending His Word in the flesh as the Bible says? The Word became flesh. Yes, Jesus ate, Jesus slept, Jesus got tired. Uh, those are tired arguments. Of course He did. We believe He was a man. He had a divine nature and a human nature in one person. So while He was sleeping in His human nature, His divine nature wasn't sleeping. While He was eating in His human nature, His divine nature wasn't eating. While He died on the cross, in His human nature, the Divine Spirit of God never died. And besides, we don't believe that the Spirit stops existing after death. So Jesus, the Bible says, gave up His Spirit. So it's possible for Him to die in His human nature, and His Divine nature still be existing and alive in every bit as God as before. Now I said we do not break God into parts. And I showed you how there can be a distinction in the, in the names, in the attributes of God. A distinction between mercy and justice. And yet those are part of one God that you cannot divide into parts. We make a distinction of persons as well. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The issue is not whether or not it is possible for God to be man. The issue is whether or not you will believe the Scriptures. You do not believe the Scriptures. And you do not understand or trust or believe in God's power. You don't know how powerful God is. God, if He wanted to, can send down His divine Word. And His divine Word can come in the flesh. Which is what the Bible says. Just because the Bible said, Jesus said, I am in you, you are in me. Now how can Jesus come and live in my heart? Brother, how can Jesus live in my heart? He says in John, I will be in you, you will be in me. Just like Jesus said, I am in the Father and the Father is in me. See, the reality of what is being said in that passage is God is inviting human beings into relationship with Himself. Jesus 
died on the cross to deliver you from your sins which keep you separated from God. God, for God so loved the world that He sent His only Son that whoever believes in Him shall not perish. So God sent His Son so that you can have a relationship with Him. God coming to live in you and you having a relationship with God who is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My time. I'm checking my time. Sheikh Ibrahim is the Word of God eternal. Is the Quran eternal? If it is, how can we believe that and not be committing shirk according to what you're saying? Christians believe Jesus is the uncreated, eternal Word of God that was with God and is God just like the Quran or the mother of books is with us and yet you're saying it's eternal so it must be God because there's nothing else eternal except God so why are you telling us Christians that we are kafir because we believe Jesus is the eternal divine word of God and son of God I encourage you today to believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and by the way the prophets are not called the Lord of glory. I read you James. James said, Jesus is the Lord of glory. He is not any kind of Lord. He is the Lord of glory. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Kenya, you are 10 minutes. Moktai adan adu gara anu ashab di hagga si unu so der dera ya mai iman ya na adana Nila dera dwega absana ya na anhor ta arinta hagga ji Ah, nili kwa na ongea mambu yetu Salamu alikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh الحمد لله ثم الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. أو برادر جيسي. First, we were not talking about the Quran being eternal. We really know that the Quran, the Quran is eternal. But we are speaking. But we are speaking. The divinity of the is Jesus divine or the divinity of Jesus. He brought a verse, John 1:1. 1, 1. In the beginning there was a word, and the word was with God, and the word was with God. I can't even put it on, on my own way. In the beginning there was a chair, and the chair was with the carpenter, and the carpenter himself was the chair. Who made the chair? Another big question. In the, book, in the book of John 14 24 Jesus declares and said if you love me you will keep my words because the word you hear is not from me it is from God secondly he said that it is Jesus who created everything I'm wondering is it true Jesus created if Jesus created everything put up your hands Okay, put now, now. Thank you very much. They said Jesus created everything. We are asking Jesus. Jesus, are you the one who created everything? Jesus says, Jesse and his pastors are all liars. God is the one who created, not me. Open up your Bibles. The book of Matthew 19 verse 4. Have you opened up your books? And Jesus said, I am telling the truth that he 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 who created the male and the female he he not i it's english i learned it under a tree in garissa <laughs> but you're from america <laughs> he <laughs> if it could have been jesus he could have said and i created you 
in the beginning. He talked about the mother of the books. No problem. And he talked about the mother of the town, Maka. And he asked, what is the mother of the town? Why did Allah say the mother of the town? It is because Makkah, scientifically, geographically, up to today, Makkah is the center of the world. So all these other towns, their mother is Makkah. Long time ago, long time ago, the mother of the towns was Jerusalem. Open up your Bibles, the book of Isaiah, 66 verse 8. Jerusalem was the mother of the towns. Why was it called mother? Because it is the where, where the revelations come. So we are not speaking about the mother of the towns. We are speaking about the divinity. That is why Jesus said in the book of Matthew 21, 43, I am telling you, you children of Israel, hear me that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you, the Israelites, and will be given another fruit of the Israelites. Israel who is Israel? Israel is Jacob. In the book of Matthew 28 verse 23. It says that when the angel came and appeared unto Jacob. And he said to Jacob. You will no more be called Jacob. But your name is Israel. Israel is not a name. It's not a tribe. Israel is not a town. Israel is not a nation. Israel is a man. Even in the Holy Quran. If Allah wants to address the children of Israel. He, wants, he speaks and says. Ya Bani Israel. Or the children of Israel. Israel was Jacob. That is why he was called Israel. We have the Hebrew Bible there. Israel is a Hebrew word. In English, the night hunter. That is why he gave birth to the 12 sons of the house of Israel. We come back into our topic. Was Jesus divine? He said, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. That I want to put an elementary English, an elementary calculation, an elementary arithmetic into the words of God. No! Let's take that elementary you call elementary. Let's take it whatever you want. We take it arithmetically. You take it totally. You take it some. But let us take it the way it is. Open up your Bibles. The book of First John 5 verse 7 it says. We have there are three who bears witness in heaven. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit in heaven. On earth, again it says, in on earth we have three gods, the water, spirit, and blood. Is it true? Open your Bible. So three plus three equals two? Six. How we cannot say God is six? He said, there is no Tawheed in the Quran. My dear brother, you have to read and understand what is the word Tawheed. Tawheed is monotheism in your mother tongue. <laughs> Monotheism. What is monotheism? It is the oneness. Mono, mono stands for one. When you go to your to your biblical colleges, they say you are going to read about monotheism. Mono is one. That is a Greek word that comes from Greek. Mono one. Theism about the story. So he said, Tawhid is monotheism. He said there is no Tawhid in the Quran. There is. God is so that is which class will it take you he said he wants and how that Jesus was not created by God Jesus is was created open your Bible the book of Isaiah 44 24 I am God the only one who created you in the stomachs of your women in the stomachs of your mothers I God I am the one who created you in the stomachs of your mothers so Jesus stayed in the stomach of Mary for nine good months as you stayed in your stomach of your mother in Texas for nine months but we respect him only because he is a prophet of Allah, Rasul Allah. And we believe in all the prophets of Allah. Amana Rasul Bima Uzila Ilahi min Rabbi. Wal Muminuna Kulun Amana Billah Wamala Ikati Wakutubi Warusuli Lanu Farri Ubaina Ahadin min Rusuli. Wakalu Samihna wa atuana kufranaka rabbana wa ilaikal masir. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has believed in Allah. As we Muslims, we believe in Allah, the oneness of Allah, the creation of the heavens of the earth Allah tabarak wa ta'ala one his messengers 
plus Isa, Jesus, Moses. We believe that they were the prophets of Allah. The only difference between Jesus goes to the toilet, we go to the toilet. Jesus eats food, we eat food. And I told you, God created people in four different ways. One, Adam, without a man, from without a man, without a woman, Adam was there. Second, the woman ever, from the ribs of Adam, from only a man.